All right, and we are back for on recording with Camtasia. Let's real quick make sure that is recording my microphone. Yes, it is. Okay. And yeah, so actually between breaks, I made two little clips. The tutorial clip one, and yeah, as you can see, I've got a new logo. Hasn't come out yet. This will actually be the first video released with it, but I've only made one other video that has it. And so yeah. What I'm going to show you is exactly how to make a video. So of course we've got this first clip. I've got my intro here, but it's got no editations on it. It's got no effects. It's just a plain intro. So sh uh, watch. Boring as it gets. So yeah, what we're going to do is first we're going to make we're going to go ahead and put in clip one. Now keep in mind, guys, I was not going for video quality here, like. The video quality itself here is good, but, well, I sound like an idiot, so, yeah. So here's all the transitions I use. I use tra two transitions and, um, and a video effect to make my intro, but we'll get into the video effects later. For right now, we're going to go ahead and put the glow. I put a glow at the end. Now remember, I put my clip about halfway through. You you can customize yours anyway. I'm just showing you how I make my videos. So you put a glow here, and what this does is it gives you this effect right now. Fades out, like you see at the end of every one of my videos. Now what I use for the start is pixelate. And this is beginning to look very familiar. Yes, I still sound like an idiot, I know. Um, now, for that, and now to finish it off, other than the video effect, which I'll get into a little bit later. Um, yeah, this is my intro, for the most part. Except for, of course, the zoom in effect, which is a video effect. Alright, so now, you've got this one video, and... Yeah, this is your own recorded voice, the top one, and then the bottom one, system audio. And, yeah, so say you wanted to attach another clip, like you stopped recording and you wanted to resume with another video. Clip two, all you have to do, it's very simple, um, just do that. And it's very, very simple. If you've ever used an editor before, you'd know this. Uh, let's do that. Sometimes the video doesn't completely align right, so you have to do a tiny bit of clipping to make sure it um, connects edge to edge. And so, as you can see, or the viewers, I guess. Um, yeah. So there's that. And right now it'll transition like that. Now that was a boring transition. I mean, if you were just some person watching this, you would not have figured out that that was switching to a different clip. You would not have figured out that anything was cut without a few seconds. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a black fade. We're going to get another transition. Oh, wrong button. That was paste. Um, and now, watch. Perfect. Obviously shows that something was clipped. So that's really the gist of transitions. We'll get into audio effects and stuff later, but right now, what I'm going to show you is since I, I will go ahead and get into video effects. So you hit more. Uh, yeah, where is it? It's visual properties, not visual effects. But it is kind of an effect. effect. Alright, so you can do this anywhere in here, but it's easier to go about midway. Hit add animation. And now, what it is, and this is part confused me for a while. Wait a minute. No, 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 that's the wrong thing. Delete animation. Why, why are you stubborn? There we go. All right, now we add animation. All right, so what it's registering is it's registering the size. This is the size, okay, so basically, right now, this is hard to explain, but what it does is it's registering the, um, the animation is registering where your mark is and it's saying that the animation is going to end with it in this size or and position well what you can do is 
at the start of the entire vi of the video, the clip, it automatically re registers what size it is at that point. So what you can do is make this animation transition to a different size. Um, you get these handy little yellow lines that tell you if it's in the middle and stuff. And so now, as you can see, zooms in. But, wait a minute, this does not look good at all. Uh, hmm, spazzing out. Watch what it does. Looks like crap. Stand still, zooms in really quickly, and then zooms in again. I mean, just stand still again. So what you can do is you can drag this over to the edge, and extend. And, voila, my fully completed intro. Yep, so there's that. So, alright, now, say you wanted, obviously I have my music down here, I made that with, um, what's it called, Minecraft's Notebox Studio. Now, I will mention, uh, for, I'm using pictures on here, but they've got transparent backgrounds, and my, uh, MS Paint can't do that. What I use for my intro, now, what I use to make my intro is um, paint.net, it's a free paint software, it's fairly similar but you can delete the background stuff completely um, use the magic wand you click on the color you want you can turn down the tolerance to make sure it doesn't delete what you want to keep and you you just click it it'll select all of that color you can hit delete and it will be deleted and it'll just show a checkerboard to show that it's um, clear all right, and then you can save that, of course. But that's this is not what this is about. Anyway, so yeah, now you've got my intro, and you've got a nice video. Say you wanted some audio. Well, well, not audio, of course. But say you okay. Right now, I'm just gonna go. Yeah, I need to speak. So what I'm gonna show you is how you can edit audio levels. So turn up my voice, if I were to click this and turn that up, you'll see my audio is a lot louder. Walking. Yep, just walking. And yes, I still sound like an idiot. We'll go ahead and turn that down, just to show you, turn it really low, you can barely hear me if at all. So if you can hear that, it's an extreme mumble. I can really barely hear it. And of course this line is default. Now you can turn up system audio because a lot of times that records really quietly. So you can hear the doors a bit better. Yeah. Now another effect I just recently discovered is... Well, first I'm going to get into... Say you wanted to add another clip out section like... Yeah, right about here. Um... I come over here. Wood. Now, what person wants to watch somebody collect wood for five minutes? But if you didn't separate it into different videos, all you have to do is clip. Hit the clip button right there. You have to have both selected, otherwise it's going to glitch. Fast forward. Uh, right about here, we'll say. Clip again. Delete, drag, and for nice effects, transition. And now watch. Doing this. Fast forwards, very simple. There's a lot more to this software that I can't really get into. How, how long have we been recording? Nine minutes, that's not too bad. Wait, did that stop? No, it didn't. Okay. So, yeah. Um. What next? Let's get into audio levels again. We didn't com quite complete this. I feel like I'm doing this very unorderly. Unorder Sorry, I don't do many of these tutorials, but I thought I'd help this guy out. So you can hit an audio point and add another audio point. And now do stuff like this. As you can see, it changes audio levels at different points. It automatically makes an audio point at the start of each. So what you could do is you could do stuff like this. All right. Walking. Yep, just walking. Or the viewers, I guess. 
Um, yeah. As you notice, the audio got somewhat louder, and then it just stopped at a complete, basically completely. So what we'll do actually is to give you a better example of that, we're gonna go down to my song and audio point, audio point, audio point. Make it turn up, then down, then up again. And actually one more down. Alright, so there's that. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, silence all of these for now. We'll undo that in a minute. It's getting louder, now getting quieter. Now it's turning up again. And now turning down again. So yeah. Uh, now you can hit Control Z to undo. Just gonna undo all that. And yeah. Actually. Yeah. Alright, now we're gonna get into some of the cool transitions I do. Say you wanted to speed a part up instead. So actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring that clip back. Say you didn't want to delete it, but you didn't want it to really be going the speed it was. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna double them, get both of them. Uh, you can hit clip speed, and if you do this the wrong way, it's really crazy. This part's very hard to do, but you can do like 200. So it goes twice as fast now. And yeah, here we go. Spend a few minutes doing this. And oh, right. You have to delete system audio, otherwise it's really hard on it. I don't know why, but it is. And now I sound like a weird person, an alien. Oh, sorry about that. That was our coffee maker. Um, and now I'm going to put, like, transition. I can add a little bit of sound. And yeah, it's a fully good speed up. So yeah, there's that. Oh, wait, so yeah. Uh, anyways, so we're just going to go ahead and delete that again. Uh, stop being stubborn. You can hit control to override its auto placing mechanism. You can hold control while you move. And I think that's really about it. I might, if you guys want me to, I'll redo this a bit more organized because I feel like I did kind of bad, but yeah, I hope I've kind of taught you guys a lot. And so now you can do like, add a transition. Now I'll be right back. Hold on. You can hit pause on this little button and that'll pause it. So that's what I'm going to do real quick. All right. And as you can see, we're back and I've gotten a new clip. Dynamite instrumental. This is a lot. I use this music a lot. Now, what you can do is this is a screen. I don't need that. I didn't record audio, uh, my voice audio in this. I just recorded the sound off YouTube. So, yeah, do that. And you can have so now you can have some music. And what I do a lot of times is I make it overlap just this tiny bit. I use audio. Um. And we will add an audio point right about here. Play a little bit. Um, and yeah, add, with this. add an audio point. Goes up. Play a little bit more. 
add another audio point, and that one goes all the way. Actually, no, it stays right about there for a minute. And then you go all the way to the end. Add an audio point. Goes all the way down. There you go. Now what you have done, well, and then you do that. And how long is that? We'll shorten this a little bit. It zooms all the way up from quiet, but as you can see, it's continually getting louder. I'll shut up now so you can hear. And as you can see, it's now getting quieter because the video would end. And I'm going to go over it. So, yeah, there's that. And now, for the last thing I'm going to go over is how I make my call outs. Now, typically, when this whole thing starts, you'll start off with something like uh, you'd have a border, you'd have no fill, and you'd have like. Uh, something like, where is it? You just have one of these fonts up here, really. I mean, it's not, it's not a, that switch you'd have. And you'd have it down to like 12 or something. And so you type in stuff, and it looks really bad because it's in an arrow. So, uh, of course, like you just saw, you hit no border, no fill. Hi. Um put that up to 24. Now I forgot to do this at the start so you can just select and hit 24. And change your font to something cool. Yeah. So we'll put that right about there. You can change the fade time. I typically have these at zero but we can, since this is at the end, we'll put it at about seven, which isn't much but it's better than nothing. So yeah, now if you were to if I were to show you this, it'd be quite it'd be a decent video. I, I honestly wouldn't use it, but I mean that's up to you. So let's see, how long is this video? Yeah, it's a good length. We'll just break it here. Alright, Runnians, I know I did kind of a bad job with this tutorial, but I think it's good enough to upload because I did well, even if it was pretty scatterbrained, I did teach you stuff, so alright. So, thanks for watching, Runnians, and I just feel this fits. Goodbye. Oops.